Hey team, this is Evolve Strong with CJ and this is CJ. I help you lose 10 pounds in five inches in 28 days. Today, let's talk about what's right for you. I get asked quite a bit um, if you believe in eating before working out, if you believe in fasting, if you believe in supersets, if you believe in hot yoga, if you believe in Reiki, if you believe in if you believe in, if you believe in, if you believe in, or what are your ideas? So when you were starting out a working, a workout program, or when you were starting out a weight loss journey, or if you're in the middle of a weight loss journey and you stall, or if there's just certain things that you need to establish, certain habits in order to get the, your fitness, the fitness results that you desire. There's a few key elements that are critical for your success. And it, again, differs for everyone. If you are coming in at 400 pounds and have not moved in four to five years, and you just are starting maybe a 10-minute basic walk throughout the day and just monitoring your diet, you will probably get some amazing results. Now, if you are a 30-year-old professional athlete and you are needing to drop 15 pounds in order to do something that you wish to do, 10-minute walk and monitoring your diet is probably not going to get you the results that you desire. You're probably going to have to increase intensity tenfold. You're probably going to have to do some different strategies with your diet that you're not. So in all reality, you need to do you, boo. You need to do what works for you. Now, there are scientific proven methods that I preach every single day. I call it the Phoenix method. All right. You need to move every God darn day, period. You just need to move. And it's not necessarily about weight loss. It's not about muscle build. It's literally about the entire health of your wellness systems, meaning your heart, your lungs, your uh, everything, your muscular, your, your, your skin. Every organ in your body requires movement, blood flow. When you increase blood flow, when you increase capacity of your lungs, when you increase, when, you, when, when, you, when your circulatory system is moving and you're getting the proper nutrients to the body, Movement is critical every single day. Now, the types of movement are what is in question, right? It's the types of movement. Now, if you're just beginning or if you're in a wellness journey, what I would suggest is finding something that you could stick with, something that you enjoy or, you know, I have to say, there are days when I just don't want to work out, but I know that at the end of the workout, I'm going to feel really good. So that is my driving force. But for those of you just starting or those of you on the fitness journey, do something that you can do every single day. It has to be pretty easy. It has to be, I don't want to say easy, easily accessible. So if walking, if you, know, if, if you live in a rural neighborhood and if it's just about walking or it's just about running on a treadmill or, you know, this is the reason why Peloton has become so popular. You just get on the bike, log in and do it, right? Um, but for me, that becomes pretty monotonous. And I, you know, I, I, it, the uh, novelty wears off and I don't get any benefit of that human connection. So what I would suggest again is do something that you can do continuously. If that means coming to shred every single morning and having that accountability of a trainer like myself pushing you along with the community aspect of the group itself, the support that you need. That's the beauty of it. That's the reason why Shred is around here, right? It makes, it gives you a date, a time, a community, accountability, and a kick your ass, right? That's, that's, that's the beauty of Shred. It could be group fitness. It could be actually just joining a local gym for 10, 15 bucks, having uh, the ability to go and do a regimen that you know you could do, put your headphones in. Actually, I, I belong to what we call PowerFlex, which is a community gym in Los Ranchos. There's about five of them in, in town, but you know it's, it's a key fob 
And um, I find myself, you know, sometimes on, on a Sunday morning at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. there um, all by myself because I just want to put my earphones in and work out. If I come to Evolve to try to get some heavy lifts, I'm looking at the mirrors, I'm doing laundry, I'm seeing the floors aren't clean. I just, I get in that work mode, right? So I need another place. So again, do what you can do that is good for you that you can be consistent with every single day. Fitness is not a destination team. It is a journey and it's a lifelong journey. And get it in your head that it's not going to just be a short period of time. It's something that you have to do continuously and work on every single day until you die. And if you want to have a good quality of life after the age of 50 into your age of 70 and 80s, you got to work out every single day. There's no, you're not going to get instantaneous results overnight. You're going to have to continue to do it in order to maintain your heart health, your lung health, your everything that you want for a good quality of life at the end. You do, you just, that's what you're working for, right? It's like an investment. When you put $10 in your investment account, you're not going to make a million dollars overnight, but year over year over year, it'll start to accumulate, right? That's what you're doing. So that's in regards to movement. Now, in regards to diet or nutrition, again, I don't believe in diets. I believe in monitoring what you're eating and really making proper choices. If I have a stressful day, I'm going to go up to Maverick and I'm going to get that damn 670 calorie uh, cranberry fritter. I'm going to do it, but I don't do it every single day, right? And if I've had that cranberry fritter, that's all I'm going to have. That's it. That's all. But I'm going to work my ass off the next day. I truly am going to work my ass off the next day for it. And if there's a birthday party or like this weekend, if there's a celebration, I'm going to have a beer. I'm going to do it. But I'm not going to do it every day. Now, some, some people ask me, well, do you believe in intermittent fasting? Absolutely, I believe in intermittent fasting. Do you yourself intermittent fast? Absolutely, I do. I have an eating window between 10 and 8. And if I need to lose a few pounds, I will only do a 500 calorie day, you know, maybe two or three times that week so that I can cut up and look really good over the weekend. I do. I use, I use intermittent fasting and caloric restriction more than I do macro distribution or really monitoring that which I eat. But I'm at a different point because I technically for my job have to physically work out four hours a day, some days, four hours in a hot room. Yesterday, it was five hours in the hot room. One of a Christine, one of my good friends and great long-term instructors here, uh, she teaches a class, but she was having some stomach issues. So I took my shred class in the hot room after teaching the hot room at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. And then again, you know, I had uh, the deep stretch guys. And then in the evening, so I had five hours in the hot room yesterday. So at the end of the day, I can have a Maverick cranberry fritter. Most of us don't have that, right? Now, in regards to nutrition, Quit being complex. Quit getting on these fad diets. Cut your shit. Because the moment you get off these diets, you balloon right back up. Do that which works for you. But again, tried and true scientific evidence has proven that if you maintain a nutrition log and you stick with your max calories for the day, you're going to achieve your goals, whether it be sustainability or loss of weight or increase of weight right? If you have a set point that you meet every day, and then at the end of the week, it's not working, you either decrease the calories or increase the calories if you're moving. And every now and again, if you have some nutrient uh, um, insulin resistance, do some fasting, guys. You don't have to make this complex, but you got to do something that you can be consistent with. And number one, journaling your nutrition is critical. Journaling your nutrition is critical because that is the data you're going to use whether you're seeking advice or whether you're not, in order to make the next decisions for the following week, okay? You gotta do it, you gotta do it. And then also stick with some calories. If you do those two things, you're gonna change. You will change. And then the third thing, guys, the third thing is, um, oh, let's go back to nutrition. Working out before you eat or working out after you eat or, you know, it just, it really depends on you. It depends on you and how you feel. I don't like working out early in the morning with any food in me. I don't, I don't like feeling stuffed. I, I like actually, I don't know. I, I like the feeling of not, not having anything in my system. So that's me. But for some people, they can't have that, right? I don't like waking up without coffee. 
I know I'm addicted to it, but I like that coffee. That that's a that's a great little spike for me to work it out. And then the big and the major, the third component is big, um, and that's accountability. Whether it be an accountability partner, whether it be account a group, a community itself for accountability, um, even yourself. You know, even there's the, like those new uh, virtual watches and stuff that hold you accountable that you can see your circle. You know, did you make your circle for your steps that day? You know, that's a good accountability. Accountability is big. So make sure that, you know, the three things that you need. And some people need me. You know, I've made a, a business out of this, right? And it's not necessarily a business because I'm passionate about sharing my approach to fitness. And I myself have a coach, right? Everybody needs a coach every now and again. And I get that. But for those of you who possibly can't afford a coach or just... You know, you can figure it out, guys. There are free groups on Facebook that you can hold yourself accountable for. There are free groups on the internet that you can join that people, you could just you get a coworker at work or find your significant other. Hold yourself accountable, guys. All of this stuff, every bit of this stuff is on YouTube. It's a, my fitness pal where you log your diet is, is there's a free version and there's free community groups out there, guys. You just have to make the choice. You have to have the willpower. That's the overarching, the overarching part of getting, of taking fitness is having the willpower to do so. That is the overarching emotion. That's the overarching everything. All the tactics can come below that. But if you have a will, there will always be a way. If you have a will, there will always be a way. Guys, April is here. If you need to lose 10 pounds and five inches, hit me up. Love to have you. Seriously, that's what I do. And if Shred isn't what for you, you know, there are budget-friendly options here at Evolve. Uh, you don't necessarily just have to do personal training or Shred or any of the other programs. You can just do classes. We do have virtual memberships as well. Love to talk to you about those, all right? 505-370-7771. 505-370-7771. I think I made too many sevens there. Let me try that one more time. 505-370-7771. Text me, call. We have a team of about six individuals that monitor that line. So text or call. Love to have you guys. All right. Or you can go to kurtjchavis.com, kurtjchavis.com, c-u-r-t-j-chavis.com. Hey, guys, from my heart to yours, remember, start strong, stay strong, always be evolving up most strong. Later.